Welcome back to this channel. My name is Utibe Aka. I am an architect and I have been in practice for the past 18 years after my master's degree. However, what I want to tell you today is the tips you need to know about sketching in architecture. Now look at this. Most of us can relate and some might not. This is called a T-square. One of the principal uh, drawing tools, precision drawing tools in architecture. And uh, we all know this is a pencil <clears throat> and paper. Now, this is a computer. Today, a lot of people understand architecture to be what you do with the computer, using computers to do drawings. But at, before now, drawing in architecture used to be with T-square, drawing table, and some other precision tools. But what is more fundamental about all of it is that before you go into any form of drafting, whether it is manual drafting or the computer-aided drafting, you need to know how to sketch. And sketching has become so important nowadays because that is where you can birth your ideas. That's where the ideas can be translated from the mind, from the inner mind to paper, where you can easily view it. However, it is very important for us to know that the hand and the brain is connected because these are part of the human body. But beginning to move it, which is using the precision tools, also needs time for training as it involves sketching as well. So for you to be good and fast and near accurate in your sketches, you need to understand some tips. And what do you need to know? Number one, you need to have an idea of scale. That's why I have this here with me, just for us to look at the scaling, the calibration. See this T-square has a calibration on it. That gives me an idea of scale. So, Yeah, so this calibration that you can see here has uh, different uh, levels, but if you can relate, this is a scale uh, of what? Uh, this is in centimeters, and you can call each centimeter 10 millimeter. And if you are using this, it will be giving you a scale of 1 into 100. So if you want to scale, and you uh, rather, if you want to sketch, if you want to sketch, and your sketch is uh, to be scaled then you can use this to just give yourself a framework most importantly when you are sketching floor plans it's always ideal to have it on a chart let me give you an instance of what i mean maybe i can use a chart of uh, let's say three meters interval i'll just take a point so from here this is one point and i take every one two three that's three meters one two three another three just like that just like that and uh, you have three meter interval for us to form a grid in other words you can also have maybe a paper that is already graded but this is just to give you an idea of scale now look at this uh, three in threes we go in threes in threes that's it that's it what am i trying to do i'm, to, I'm trying to establish where you sketch okay what will i do with this just throw the lines all through to give me a guide remember it's a sketch remember it's a sketch and we are trying to keep it scaled So while you sketch, the way you handle your pencil or any sketching device matters. Okay now, take for instance, this is one, two, three, one, two, three, whatever unit it is, we can rescale it to call it in a particular scale. But I'm taking one, two, three, four boxes to become a unit. Okay, for instance, I want to sketch a room. This box 
comes here and here, I've established the points A to B. So I've created that plane and uh, I also want to extend it. So each, this room, what does it have? A room should have a, a convenience. And now if I'm taking this to be the size of my room, definitely my toilet wouldn't be too big. So maybe I take uh, a little part of this to add. And I take this to add here. And uh, what next? I consider that I would need a wardrobe in my room and uh, I'll need a door in my room. I'm sure before now you would have known the representation of all those things. So if you have a wardrobe and you have a door, what next am I looking at here? If you come into this space, let's assume that we would be having a shower, a toilet, and a wash hand basin and all these are kept in hierarchy so which of them comes first if you enter such a space we'll consider that you first find your wash hand basin yep so how do we get in here we have we have multiple options of sketching such space maybe i'll take this as my wc seat and i'll take this as my wash hand basin should i do that okay i'll take this as my shower closet and i'll take this as my wc and we can have our wash hand basin here i'm sure this flies so i don't actually like drawing with erasers and i wouldn't advise you to learn doing that okay so it means you need a point for a drain and that goes what next? How do you enter the space? You have an entry point here. So what have I ended up doing here? I've ended up keeping the effective room space clean and clear. So what are those things that you'll find in a room? You'll be looking at having a bed in a room. Yes. And uh, what else? You might also look at having uh, a table to read in a room. So what do we have here? Let's have uh, the bed head. So maybe uh, we have a queen size bed here. Mm. How else? What's the best position? We have two positions here for the bed that is good. A and B. Which one would be ideal for us, considering that we might also want to have a good ventilation pattern. So I would take the point where if you enter the room, the bed head, the person who is on the bed sees you clearly. So I would take here to be my bed head so I can have a very good arrangement. And I'll come here and have a table here and the chair so it means that the best position here for me to position my window could be here and here possibly might have two window in this end so that the other one would be good for the reading table I've been able to establish that. What else would you need in this room? You might need a, a couch for one to sit and uh, possibly, yeah, okay. So the best thing here is to push it. We'll put a couch here, a one seater. And we'll put a small side table while we have the bed and the bed side table. So if we are having a television in this room, likely the television is going to be placed here on the wall. And we have our wardrobe here with the hangers. 
this becomes a blank wall maybe this could be a terrace house that means you continue it then we need a window here and uh, if we are putting a window here so this point is not good for a shower it means that the ideal positioning here would be put your shower this way put your toilet here and have your wash hand basin there so you can easily have an opening for a window at that point so with this you have a line drawn here to show that you actually need to step down to enter that space all these are sketches and this as we said is a drawer now is the drawer going to be open open openable or is going to be slid i think it would be ideal to have it slid so you have maybe you have a three panel drawer so you can just represent it that way and uh, this is a blank wall this is a blank wall now somebody would ask where is the ventilation i would quickly tell you that for depending on your climb where i am is a tropical rainforest and we have warm humid climate and it is ideal for you to have cross ventilation so what is best it means that there will be need for a window here so if i have that window here it means that this is what we have so i would have been able to establish my seat and my small table and my bed and uh, possibly the bed has the bed sheet on it as you can see that what else the table if you can look at the table you can see activity on it you could have a laptop on it so you need to represent it and maybe a mouse if somebody's on it remember the bed has uh, a pillow on it as well so maybe somebody's lying on the bed you can easily illustrate the person's head you know however it is Maybe somebody is also sitting on the bed watching the television. You can also put that here. So these are a few tips you can use to illustrate basic ideas before you even go into drafting and scaling. But remember, this has dimensions. So if I take this to be, okay, let's say uh, two meters centers. So if it's two meters, centers it means that this would be about four meter centers assuming the same here so this is two meters two meters at centers same here that becomes our dimensional coordination remember this is illustrative to help you know how to have quick sketches before you further move into your drafting with the computer. What else would you need to know here? Nothing really much. All everything here is symbolic, so you can get this clear enough. But someone would also ask. How do we even enter this space? Remember, I just said, let me uh, sketch a, a one-room apartment. Maybe you might want to have an entrance to the room. And remember, we had a grid. So if it's continuous, we need to show something like that, that it's continuous. Same here, continuation lines. 
that is also important for you to show if this if this room is a row house and you need to move from a veranda or a balcony into the room there is need to have changes in levels and that has to be illustrated as well so assuming this to be our veranda if you're on the ground floor uh, it means that you may have to have something like a flower pot or a planter rather and the entrance point where you actually step up in assuming this to be level zero plus or minus zero so if you have one step up what do you have plus 150 the next step is plus 300 and uh, the next is plus 450 and the final stage inside will be plus 600 that gives us the levels of the space remember if you get into the toilet area you have to step down and how many do you need to step down maybe step down by uh, 50 so here would be plus 550 and that's how it goes and goes and goes in this shower area you can decide to put a shower cubicle maybe you have a sliding panel you slide and enter the shower space and you can furnish it as you want to do what else you might need to know here is the finishing maybe the tiling on the floor depends on the kind of tile finishing you want to put but basically if you look at this you can see that we have a sketch of a one bedroom uh, well displayed here uh, we forgot to put our, our flowers and the planter and also maybe someone walking at the veranda so look at that the same way you put human figures on your plan you can also put human figures on your elevation so having this we can say we have been able to sketch a plan all right having done what we have done you could see that you you need the skill of sketching and how did i sketch that just with my the confidence of my mind i didn't need to use the uh, pencil as if i'm afraid i needed to just rule the lines confidently based on what is in my mind and uh, the same way anybody can do it but you know as much as you practice the sketching you will be able to do it the key technique there is move from lighter lines to the thicker lines so that when you want to come when you want to affirm your line you can bolden the line but when it is in the sketching mode it has to be all light lines so i, I believe that with this i have been able to open up to you that if you need more questions about sketching i decided to do this with only pencil not to use ink in another video i will show you how we can use ink and add texture to your sketches so that you can relate with anybody that you want to relate a design idea to thank you very much for viewing this and give it a like if you like it subscribe to the channel if you want to know more or hear more about what i'm talking about i'm with architect Utiba Aka and I believe that I will change a lot of things for us here. You keep coming back here, you get to learn new things. Take care.